Go. All right. Um, what's going on, guys? My name is Nathan. I'll actually give you guys my name this time. If you want to see more of this build, go over to my Instagram, Power Stroke Coffee, or um, at PWRSTKPPI. Um, what this is, is a Predator 212 Hemi. Um, I got a MoFlo 1 billet head. It's got a Wiseco piston, air C billet rod, air C billet side cover, um, air C billet aluminum flywheel. I mean, it's got just about everything you can imagine. And um, it's got a big cam in it as well. We got that from Dynacams. Um, and I just finished uh, locking in my push rod length and then um, I s went ahead and spun it over but um, it's looking really good and we should be able to start it today hey if you guys are not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel this is study man travel I'm technically off today but I'm still working today don't forget about letting me know about the pipe oh yeah, yeah. we got the uh, f and racing exhaust pipe for it um, it's been custom made for the uh, cylinder head. It's port match, so it's gonna give us the optimum flow. Uh, it's just, you know, really nice. Beautiful welds, can't really beat it. How much power are you gonna get out of this? Uh, <laughs> maybe like 20 horsepower, but you guys have to like also take into account that like the bike might weigh like, I don't know, 30 pounds. I weigh like 150 pounds. So, this is all 180 pounds being moved by, you know, 20 horsepower, so you can go pretty quick if you gear yourself right. Or you just do an exercise and be light. <laughs> yeah, there you <laughs> go. Yeah, yeah. That's funny. It's the next. Think, go ahead. No, no, no. I was going to say, um, I mean, people will, like, really get into it. I mean, you can have, like, different jockeys for, like, specific motors and, like, you know, gearing setups, but I don't know. We'll see how far we get with it. How long did it take you to um, get this done, build, and everything? Oh, man. This took me like eight months, bro. Like start to finish. Yeah, because it's just like it's a lot of like thinking about you know what parts exactly I want to use, and then obviously having enough money to buy all these parts because this stuff is not cheap either. Um, but yeah, it's almost to the end, and um, I'm hoping to start it today. Maybe you guys can get a little video of that. But uh, yeah. What was good. the hardest part for you when you was building this? Actually, the hardest part is what I just finished, which was uh, cutting the push rods and measuring the length. Um, here, let's see, I'm gonna uh, zero out the gauge and I'll show you guys actually. Um, we're above 400 thousandths lift right now. I'm spinning the engine over. And uh, let's see, we just hit the cam. 100 thousandths, 200 thousandths, 300 thousandths. Still lifting over four hundred thousandths, and then it starts to retard. So yeah, lots and lots of lift. Um, that was probably the hardest part of getting this uh, whole entire build done was getting that locked in. But um, now that it's done, I mean, I'm super super excited to see what this thing's gonna sound like. If a person want to build something like this, what would be the best advice for you to do this? Uh, Not to do it. No, stop. <laughs> well, honestly, yeah, I, I don't know if I would do it with this block because. I don't know how much it's gonna hold or at this power level, or how long it's gonna hold, I should say. Um, if you're gonna build like, you know, a small engine like this, I'd probably get a Tillotson block. Yeah, that's what I would do. Maybe a stroker crank. I don't know. Spice it up a little bit. Bore it out. Do, do a whole bunch of stuff to it. That's what you would do if you was gonna change, start over again? That's probably what I would do, yeah. You I mean, have I've done some stuff to this one, but not as much as I would do to a Tillotson block. Mm. If you have not subscribed to the channel, subscribe to the channel. You heard it from live for Study Man Travel. Take it easy, guys.